Willie, what are you doing? Oh, see, I'm thinking about being styrofoam man. Hey, speaking of styrofoam, there's a brand new project coming to Davidson County Recycling. It's kind of exciting. What is it? Yes, it is. We're going to start a styrofoam recycling program here in the county for residents and industry probably sometime midsummer. Wow. Now, styrofoam, look at all the different types of styrofoam that people throw away just every day in their in their home. This takes up a lot of room in the landfill, I would imagine. It does. There's no weight to it, but as far as density, it takes up a lot. There's thousands and thousands of cubic feet of this stuff in the landfill now. All right. So you're talking about any kind of styrofoam, paper plates, small plates, cups, and this is the type of um, packing material that goes around, you know, molded packing materials. Uh, this is sheeting. There's also some type of packing material. We'll take the peanuts. Oh yeah, yeah, packing peanuts. Yes, packing peanuts. And the problem we're having is that there's several different types of these peanuts. Some of them are going to be made out of cornstarch. We don't want those. We just want the styrofoam peanuts. Now, there's a, a color. Some of them are different Yeah, the, the cornstarch is kind of a beige or off-white, uh, uh, a little bit of yellow tint to it. Right, but don't eat them. No, don't no, eat no, them no, or no, recycle them. No, and they won't pop like popcorn either. Right, but, exactly. But we, we'll take the styrofoam peanuts. We'll take all the styrofoam. It's got to be clean, though. So right. when you've got plates or cups, things like that. I don't want food products on it. Right, okay? wash it off. Right. right. Now, the thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna have this densifier machine mm -hmm. that'll take these, we'll drop it in there. Yeah. They will press it, chop it, and press it, and chop it, and press it, and it actually Rock, can form, you, uh, can you, we'll get can a, you come in on this? Yeah. It actually forms a log, and then we can put it on pallets and ship it out to markets. Wow. So it densifies it to a, a, about a about a 40 to 60 pound log, which is four feet long. So that's a lot of weight. That is. That's a lot of styrofoam. That's gonna make a big difference yeah, sure. in our landfill there. All right, Steve, when it comes time, we'll go over exactly how to separate the styrofoam like you do your regular recycling. Yeah, oh yes, yes. Now, well, what we're looking at doing is, uh, uh, I think it's Dart Industries uh -huh. down in Randleman. Right. They've got a program where you bring it to their location there at their Dart plant yeah. and, and they separate it all out there. So it won't go to the box site locations or the recycling centers. Right. It'll have to come to one central location and, and we'll probably have that set up somewhere here at the landfill. Okay. Okay. And um, when, once we get to that uh, part of this program, We'll have another little uh, talk together yes. and we'll let everybody know what we're going to be doing. All right, you've heard it right here. You can be styrofoam person uh. and recycle styrofoam. There are a lot of exciting things going on right here at Davidson County Recycling because it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Steve, tell him keep watching. Keep watching. I'm not going to have him wear tights if he's going to be styrofoam hey. in there.